What's good? We shoot films. Coming back at you. I'm going to be trying to come more frequently now, so please subscribe. You know what I'm saying? And uh, let's grow this channel. Let's grow this community. I want to talk about everything. You know what I'm saying? But well, let's get to the tutorial. You know what I mean? All right, so today's tutorial is about removing things in the background, which I've already done technically. There's a tutorial I did about moving mics out of the scene and stuff like that, or lights. But those, that was on a static shot. So if you need to know about that for static shots, which is non-moving shots, go watch that. This here lesson is about moving shots. I was working on a scene for a client and I have to remove, you know, little homes and stuff from the background because it's supposed to be like she's in an isolated desert type of scene. So I said, you know, I might as well do this now and do it as a tutorial. So that's what we were about to do. So you're gonna need After Effects, Photoshop. I edit in Premiere. So if you, whatever you're editing in, it is what it is. If you're editing in Premiere, you can right click on the clip and tell it to open up in Adobe After Effects. Mine isn't working right, so I just exported it and imported it. I'm gonna import it manually to After Effects. So let's get it going. All right, so grab your file, go into After Effects, drop it. Create a new composition, boom. Now, as you see, there's stuff in the background, you know, like little homes and you see the little homes here. It's just, you know, suspect. You know, this is supposed to be a deserted area. And if you look even better, if I let this render out here, you, you'll you see a car moving. It's real small though, you might not see it. It's right there. You see it? Anyway, don't matter. But anyway, we wanna take these things out. So what do you do? This is where we have the track. Some people are scared of tracking, don't be scared. If you don't see your tracker over here on the right bottom, see it say track camera, track motion, just go to animation and hit track motion. Now I like to hit the rotation too, just in case. Now, the track motion is more of like a contrast base. So you wanna find something that is really gonna stick to and that's always on the scene and never goes off scene, you know, and it's constant. Well, for me, I like this scene here. And also make sure you're in the beginning of your clip which I almost didn't do, but right here, bang. And it should, it should follow this pretty good. See, it sticks out, something that sticks out pretty much. All right. That looks good. All right, so we hit the forward. And it's tracking it, tracking it, boom. And it looked like it did a great job. It looked like it stuck to it very much, very good. So cool. Now we go to layer, new, null object. And we created that. A null object is just a placeholder for all the information. So all this data is gonna be stuck onto this null object. You're gonna see in a moment. Go back to your track camera, hit edit target null one hit apply x and y okay now now as you see you see you got all this all this information all these all these right there so yeah you see here you got the square it's gonna stay right there it ain't going nowhere this is how you can add text to your scene 3d objects a whole bunch of stuff a little more deeper but that's the concept so whatever all right, so make sure we don't see that right there. For now, I, I mute, I, I take it off so I don't see it. We need to have a clean plate of this. We need to create a plate. So hit composition, same frame as Photoshop layer. Name it what you're gonna name it. Boom. Grab that file. Go into Photoshop. 
grab that file go into photoshop if these things bother you just hit view and turn off extras all right now as you see we got these dumb things okay let's take them out let's take them out anything over here a little bit huh all right check this out this is the easiest thing to do there's a lot of complex ways to do this but photoshop sometimes gives you a way out easily quick to hit the quick lasso tool and all you want to do is circle that area you want right click fill make sure content aware is there i got it a normal 100 percent opacity hit okay and look it it's gone because what content aware does is tries to sample everything around that area and fill it up and sometimes it works great sometimes it works terrible like this right here i'm gonna take this out i right, click fill bang it's gone look at this here these buildings and little this or that fill boom it's gone you know right here take this out right click fill and it's gone you know what i'm saying like it's, it's dope man uh, content of where it does it, you can't front on it and, and then there's another tool if you want to like simple stuff like this and you get the patch tool if you want it's called a patch tool the patch tool you just circle it sample it move it aside and boom it's going to take whatever's on the side of it and move it so you're good now what else is there To move Photoshop like this, just hit the space bar and it'll let you move it around. Again, quick lasso. I'm gonna grab all of this. Right click, fill. You get the idea. Let me just, uh, let me do this here. That's what they pay us the big bucks for, right? All right, so everything look like it's gone. Look like she's in the middle of nowhere. Pretty much. I don't like how this looks. Looks weird. That looks better. All right, so that's done. Let me send this back. All right, so we got our picture. We just created a nice clean plate. All right, hit save, bang. <sighs> now we have to import that picture that we just saved, which uh, should be this one. I hope, if not, we'll import another one. We can just, we can just throw it right in. You can merge the layers, that's fine. Um, let me check. Yeah. Look at that. You see the stuff here? That's that's the, the actual video. And then the, 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 the clean plate we created in Photoshop, see, it's gone. All right, so the whole thing is this. clean plates on top you can put the null on top it don't matter the clean plates on top of the footage grab your mask you create a square and now as you see the bottom of the footage is moving but the top part is still because we got to connect that so what you do is this, it's mad simple. You have the null object, remember, the null object has all the information on it, okay? So go to your clean plate, pick whip it, choose the null, let go. Now watch the magic happen. It's perfect, look. It's moving with it. This is 
exactly how you do it. That's how you create this effect where you take out the stuff in the background from a moving shot, take a picture of it, put it in Photoshop or any other imaging editing software, take out what you want, export that picture, import it into After Effects, layer the part that you took off so you mask the part you took off to only reveal that part that you need and then you connect the exported JPEG you connect that to your null object and it's moving and that's all there is to it in Premiere Pro just press save when you go back into Premiere Pro everything's gonna be there if you did what I did you're gonna have to export this and uh then import it into Premiere Pro. To export it, you just have to go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, and Lostness is, if you if Lostness, if you do it, hit QuickTime and choose over here, Animation. You know what I'm saying? So hit QuickTime, Animation. If you have audio, hit put the audio on, and then click OK, and then, you know, here output to wherever you wanted to output hit save and render and that's it so i hope you can follow that if you have if you, if you don't understand and still have questions leave some comments below i'll get back to you asap as soon as i can please remember to subscribe hit that bell on the side so that you can be notified on time and keep creating all right y'all